and we'll take each of these in turn. So the anterior compartment of the forearm is made up of three layers, essentially, of eight muscles. And the way I remember it is that there are four superficial muscles, minus one intermediate, which gives three deep muscles. And in total, that's eight. Pretty much all of these muscles, apart from a couple of exceptions, come from the common flexor region, which is at the medial epicondyle. And this is relevant because when you sometimes have pathology of these muscles, you can get irritation there. That leads to golfer's elbow. So, starting off with the superficial muscles, you might remember from MJM, pass fail, pass fail, or PFPF. So, the first one is pronator teres, um, and that, as the name suggests, pronation. The second is flexor carpi radialis. So, that, as the name suggests, it's a flexor, and it's at the wrist, and it's at the radial side. Then there's pomoris longus, which is often absent, so it's something of an anatomical variant. And there is flexor carpi ulnaris, which is similar to flexor carpi radialis, but it's just on the other side. Then going on to the intermediate, the only muscle is flexor digitorum superficialis, and that's not actually on this diagram, so that takes kind of a funny position in between the two deep and the superficial layers, and sometimes you might just consider it as being superficial, hence the name superficialis. So I really count that within the superficial compartment. And then you have the deep compartment, so that's flexor digitorum profundus, so that flexes the digits and is deep, and flexor pollicis longus, so that flexes the thumb and it's a long muscle, whereas brevis, which means short, is in the hand. And then there's pronator quadratus, which is similar to pronator teres, pronates the arm, but it's just at the other end of the forearm.